Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's talk about using Firewire audio gear on recent Windows PCs and how to score some great deals in audio equipment. Firewire is a connection standard that it's had its heyday maybe 10 or 15 years ago. And in this time, it was a fast alternative to USB. But gradually, USB won up. Today, there are two kinds of people who might be interested in checking out Firewire gear. There's people like me who already have some and we want to keep it running here in today's era. But even if you don't have Firewire gear, you might be interested because nowadays you can pick these older items up for great deals. Case in point is the RME Fireface 400. These sold for some pretty decent money way back then. Multiple audio inputs, multiple MIDI buses, multiple digital audio inputs, outputs, and so on. But now they sell for a whole heck of a lot less than what I bought it for, in part because of Firewire not being pre-installed on most recent Windows or PC systems. So I got a new PC this year and I needed to get the audio interface working on it. Here's the PCIe Firewire card that I used. Total with shipping was under $30. So what you need to do to be able to use this is to make sure your PC has an empty PCIe slot. Make sure your PC is unplugged before doing any of this. All right, now let's take the case off here. We're looking for a PCIe slot that will accept the gold connector on this card. Oh, here's one right here. We're gonna slide that right in in just a second. Before that, I'm gonna remove this metal guard or screen here to open up a spot on the back of the case for the new Firewire card. When the card is in, we want those ports to be accessible here on the back. Now I'm just going to install this card. There's an extra port here in case you needed it, this little one, but I'm using the ones on the back. All right, here's the back view of the PC. We've got two regular size Firewire ports and also a micro one in case that's what your cable is. I never liked those micro ones. They were really kind of fragile, but hey, your mileage might vary on that one. All right, now we're gonna put everything back in its place and go check out some computer system settings. Before you do this, you're gonna to need to make sure you have the RME drivers fully installed before this step. All right, we're just gonna launch Device Manager in Windows here. You're looking for this IEEE 1394 host controller setting right here. Make sure the card has been detected. Plug in your RME to the back and power it on, et cetera, et cetera, with your Firewire cable. Once that's done, you can scroll up to Audio Inputs and Outputs here in Windows Device Manager. If everything is working, you should see all of your RME audio inputs and outputs available up here. All right, on your PC, now switch over to RME Total Mix that you got when you installed the drivers. What we'll do is just launch that, and hey, look, you've got all these capabilities your Fireface 400 and you're ready to roll on your PC. And now the fun begins. It's time to get back to music. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks very much for watching. Please hit subscribe for more great content and be sure to like, share, and comment on this video because I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great one.